Hello, uh, my name is Todd Zarwell. I'm an optometrist uh, who developed the refraction tutorial and simulator, which can be found at medrounds.org. And I just wanted to give you a quick little rundown of that. So on the simulator, you have the option of practicing in minus cell or plus cell. And you can either do a uh, manual uh, option where you can enter the uh, prescription that you want to refract to. So let's say minus 5, minus 2, 2.25, axis 10, and uh, enter the patient's best vision and their age, which will affect uh, how well they accommodate, of course, um, and refract from there. Or you also have the option of uh, some case studies where there's just a number of patients. They can choose from a varying ages, best practice vision, prescriptions, and uh, then uh, choose one and do a refraction. So basically we have a four opter and an eye chart and it might look a little intimidating, intimidating just like those things normally might to uh, a new uh, practitioner. But uh, basically this works just like a four opter. Uh, to refract, you'll of course just close one eye first and occlude, occlude an eye. Uh, you can zoom in on just the right half to make it a little bit easier to see. Uh, you can do retinoscopy if you choose to. Um, and then uh, basically you just refract like you normally would. So you ask questions and of course the patient can't hear you on this simulator. So Instead, when you give choices, you just press the one and two button on the keyboard. So you say, which one's better, number one, and press the number one key on your keyboard, or number two, and they say it looks clear either way. Maybe you could show me a small row of letters. So uh, rookie mistakes. So we probably should measure the uh, vision first. So since they have a prescription in here, uh, we'll just ask, uh, read the chart with this. They're reading 2025 already. Read this chart. Can't read any of those. So basically, we'll just isolate this row and ask uh, which one's better, choice one or two. And we get a response that a typical patient might give, something confusing. They look about the same, but two is better. How about now one or two? And they liked one better. How about here, one or two? And there they like two. We'll go down a row, read the chart, and uh, two, U, E, or B, R. So they're not reading it very well. So we're gonna go back up a couple of rows. Let's work with the cylinder. Uh, which choice is better, one? Let's try that again, one or two. And they said two, so I'll move the axis we're doing minus cell, so we'll move the axis this way. Which one's better, one or two? Two a little bit. And then we do some uh, uh, searching, uh, looking at the, um, the cell power two. Which one's better, one or two? And they like two, so we'll add a little bit more minus. And uh, basically, just continue on from there. Uh, when you're done with the one eye, you can switch to the other one, of course. I'm going to include that one and go from there. And when you're finished, press the finish button. And it tells you how many questions you asked, what the endpoint was, what you found, um, and uh, what quality of vision that you refracted to, and what quality of vision the patient should be able to achieve. And it just kind of gives you a sense of how you're performing. And... Uh, I think it's helpful for students to be able to practice. And sometimes when you're a student, you get a lot of chances to practice on young, healthy myopes. So this gives you a chance to practice on sometimes more complicated patients. It also lets you experiment with uh, refracting in plus cell and minus cell without having to do something that you're not quite comfortable with um, on a real patient. So uh, check it out. Uh, it's found at medrounds.org. And uh, again, I'm Todd Zarwell, and I hope you uh, find it useful.